I remember thinking Demi was a really talented young Disney star, but now I think, whoa, Demi's been through some stuff. She's really inspirational. Get ready to get nostalgic, because this is throwback. I freaking love Demi Lovato. I love Demi. Demi Lovato was my soul <laughs> when I was in high school. She's had such a huge transformation. She has lived an entire lifetime in her like early 20 years. Is the band here? Not yet. Oh, I can't wait to see them because someday I want to play in a band too. And I'm sure you will. Barney, like Barney Barney, like the Barney, the, the dinosaur Barney. Oh. She was on Barney and Friends? You didn't know that with Selena Gomez also. What? I used to love that show. I loved Barney. I love you. I mean, are there reruns? I need to watch it. Like she was one of the little kids like doing the, you know, the hey Mr. Knickerknacker Boppity Bop. Oh, I got a few songs I could sing for you. I mean, I don't watch it anymore, but uh. If all the raindrops, lemon drops, and gum drops. She was just really innocent and really adorable. But standing outside with my mouth open wide. I liked it enough to have a bedspread that was Barney. What? I'm questioning my own life choices. If all the raindrops. That's enough for right now. I was watching Barney when I wasn't supposed to be watching Barney. I was like 14, like loving Barney, and that was really awkward. It's probably why I stayed single for a while. This is me. That's the song. Ah! Camp Rock is we'll put Demi on the map. The Disney map. The only map that matters. I remember hearing her and being like, that bitch can sing. When I think Demi Lovato Camp Rock Demi Lovato, I think just bangs. She had a fresh smile and the bangs, and you're just like, who is this girl? <laughs> Who is she? Hey, guys, let's see how you guys She dated Joe Jonas. Oh my God, that's right. I think she lost her V-card to him. They were young, they were rich, their parents were missing. Well, I think they maybe held hands. The Jonas Brothers had promise rings. <laughs> True, I forgot about that. Do they still wear those? No. I remember when Demi was sunny and sunny with a chance. Oh, wow. That show was really big. I just remember seeing her billboard where she was like, just like so ready. That was a lot of drama. Unfortunately, she had to go to rehab and they kept on filming the show. How do you still film the show Sunny with a Chance without Sunny? It's just with a chance. You can't do that. Demi has been very open about her past drug use. She checked into rehab November 2010 for three months when she was 18. What? I don't like to talk about the sad part of Demi Lovato. I think I avoided those news stories because I was like, nope, not my Demi. <laughs> my Demi wouldn't do that. Never. My Demi, no! So Demi Lovato went to rehab for depression, cocaine, eating disorder, bipolar. And this is why I love Demi so much for recognizing it, going to rehab, and handling it. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't know who she was on all of these Disney shows until she had that airport brawl. <gasps> she I punched guess. a person. But now she's good and she's great. Yeah, she's, she's crusty and strong. My little Demi never punched nobody. <laughs> she did. But the awesome part of this story is that she came out of it and when you saw her come back new and refreshed, it was like, yes, Demi, yes, amazing. That's what we love to see is a, like a, a story that just like, you just, uh, it's like, you did it, you got better, you got well. Like, that's what we love. That's what we love to see. Like a skyscraper. Ooh. This is the Demi that we all grew to love. That is a great song. I love Skyscraper. That was her comeback song. Because it was so raw and honest. She was like, hey guys, look, I can overcome this rehab. I'm gonna be here to stay, just like, Zip it. She can actually sing. Like, she can actually sing. She has a really nice voice. Skies are crying. I just remember when I heard it and I saw the music video, it was so candid of her just in the desert being fabulous. Wasn't that sort of like her version of Miley's The Climb? Demi's Skyscraper was Miley's The Climb. I think you guys are so cute. We think you're cute. You're pretty bad. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> no. Uh no. Oh, oh yeah. Demi Lovato being on The X Factor was my favorite. This is when we really see Demi coming into her own. It was a huge show. Everybody knew what it was. And it really worked for her career. I loved Demi as a judge. She was really honest. Like, I'm not a reality show person, but I watched that for Demi because I thought it was so interesting, her comeback. She wasn't so much a kid, a Disney star anymore. She was a woman, you know? She was just like, hmm, I'm a woman. Like, hear me roar. I'm gonna tell you that she sucks. Or I'm gonna tell you that you're really good. Or I'm gonna tell you that you could do better. She's pretty awesome. It's alright. 
Do you remember when she was on Glee? Amazing. Oh man, you do Glee, you're winning. I always thought she was really good at acting. I was glad she got back. Oh, this is where I get off. So I guess that's goodbye for now. Didn't she play a lesbian on Glee? And made out with the Latin girl with the big boobs who dated Big Sean. Oh, mm -hmm. hell yeah. Did you ever watch Prison Break? No. She was in Prison Break, I and she like that. gets almost like raped by a creepy old guy. What the heck? She had a serious she was role. So good. I'm she spitting was like, everywhere. I'm she was like. Excited. I'm spitting like, everywhere. She was like. Excited. This show is changing my life uh -huh. right now. Uh -huh. Want more throwback? Click to the left for our Remembering Twilight episode, or click right to check out the sexiest celebrity siblings on Debatable.